Hi, I'm Jason with Florida Solar Design Group. Variable speed pumps save money and are quieter than standard single speed pumps. The new building codes promote their use. When it comes to these pumps, there are some important factors to consider when used with solar pool heaters and pool automation systems. Choosing the right pump will balance energy savings with pool heating performance. I'll explore the features and benefits of the major brands and models popular in Florida today. The options come from one of three major pool brands and a few others. Hintair, Hayward, and Jandy all have multiple variable speed pump options. First up, the Pentair IntelliFlow 2 VST builds on the success of the industry-leading IntelliFlow series. The new model has a rotatable keypad and a more intuitive interface. The IntelliFlow 2 VST is an obvious choice if you have existing Pentair pool automation or if you'll be adding one of Pentair's solar controllers like the Solar Touch or Sun Touch. Teleflow series has a proprietary control cable that connects to any Pentair automation system and can interface with any other automation system via the Intellicom 2 adapter. Its 3 horsepower motor gives you plenty of flexibility for any pool feature or heating system, including solar pool heaters. Because it is the most powerful residential variable speed pump on the market, you can usually run it at very low speeds, making it the quietest pump available. The previous generation IntelliFlow is also available with an integrated safety vacuum release system to comply with anti-entrapment requirements. The IntelliFlow is also available as an IntelliPro, which is black in color and uses a stay right pump housing. The IntelliFlow and IntelliPro XF pumps are commercial models with larger inlets and outlets, a convenient handle, and a slightly different pump design. Pentair also offers the 1.5 horsepower Superflow and Stay Right Supermax pumps with 1.5 inch inlet and outlets for smaller pools. These pumps can run on 120 volt power, which is pretty rare around here. We recommend sticking with the IntelliFlow series pumps, which are not much more expensive. Hayward also offers a full line of variable speed pumps. Their flagship is the EcoStar. We recommend this pump with existing Hayward automation systems. It can also be used with other automation systems with simple relays, if available, without an intermediate interface device. The flexible, non-proprietary external control option is a nice feature, but the programming is a bit more complex with non-Hayward automation systems. The EcoStar is a 2.5 horsepower pump with plenty of power for almost any residential pool. Because Hayward's solar controllers don't stack up to Pentair's, in our opinion, we don't recommend the EcoStar with new automation, but we're otherwise happy to use it with existing Hayward pool automation systems. The Hayward TriStar VS has a similar interface and automation options. At 1.85 horsepower, it's a bit more powerful than the Pentair Superflow, but the external control capabilities fall short on older Hayward automation systems. Hayward TriStar VS has a similar interface and automation options. At 1.85 horsepower, it's a bit more powerful than the Pentair Superflow. The Hayward MaxFlow VS comes in a few different models. These 1.5 horsepower pumps may or may not have external control options. Those without external control are completely unsuitable for solar pool heating systems. Those with external control can work with any controller like the EcoStar, but we don't recommend them for the same reason we don't recommend the 1.5 horsepower Pentair Superflow. Jandy has a new flagship variable speed pump, the Jandy VS Plus HP. This 2.7 horsepower pump falls in between the Pentair and Hayward flagships in terms of power. It can be ordered with or without an onboard controller and can work with Jandy Aqualink automation without an interface. The onboard control is required for non-Jandy automation options. The onboard programming is somewhat lacking compared to other brands, but you'll probably find this pump connected to automation systems anyway. We don't recommend it primarily due to its cost. Jandy's FlowPro comes in 1.5 and 2 horsepower models. For external control, the Jep R onboard controller offers similar flexibility to the Hayward EcoStar. 
However, there's one major flaw in the control logic when using a basic solar pool heating controller. The pump is not returned to its normal schedule when solar pool heating turns off. The only way around this is to install a full automation system that takes over total control of the pump, adding to the cost. The JND E-Pump comes in 1 horsepower and 2 horsepower models. We don't recommend the 1 horsepower model because it usually ends up needing to run at full speed, negating the benefits of a variable speed pump. The 2 horsepower model is fine, but does not have the same cost to benefit ratio of other options. There are other manufacturers of variable speed pumps, but we recommend you steer clear. These pumps are offered through discount warehouses, and they represent the bottom of the pile in terms of performance, programming, and external control options. In fact, some have no external control options at all, making them totally unsuitable for pools with features or heating systems. The most popular models found in Florida are the Waterways EconoFlow VS and the EcoPump. Stick with the name brand from a reputable dealer and have it installed by someone who will actually program it. If you buy a pump from a retailer, they'll probably just install it and leave the factory defaults programmed, handing you the manual so you can figure it out. If you have a spa, any pool features, a solar pool heater, or any pool heater for that matter, let Florida Solar Design Group install and program your variable speed pump to balance performance and energy savings. Thank you for watching our comparison of variable speed pool pumps. Remember to call Florida Solar Design Group for all of your pool heating, automation, and variable speed pump needs.